Welcome everybody and thank you for joining me. Uh, I'm Emma and if for the people that don't know me, I am the artist behind Unsteady Art. Hi everyone. Uh, it's coming up quite late here, but I have to admit I really do feel like I need to do something. Uh, video editing has took a little bit more time than what I thought this time around. Do apologise for the lights. Uh, yeah, I can't really get any more this side on. So there's a few things that I'm wanting to do. It is to try and do the rest of the sublimation that I'm wanting to do all the weird and wonderful things. Um, t tumbler again. Uh, a cup and I'm wanting to do more of a full full size uh, cup this time around. So hopefully that will go all right and away we go. Sorry, I forgot to mention because of a commission that I did earlier I needed to reprint uh, my frame holders so these are what my name plates go on to and uh the yeah just name plates really uh so these are the, just the holders printed out on the 3d printer probably will show a few more things later on but at the moment uh they do take hours and hours and hours to print so it is a lot of babying so just bear with me with that one
thought I'd give you a few examples of the nameplates I've done. Uh, the Caden one is definitely my first and Darts was my last. They are really fun to do. Uh, I will show you one eventually, uh, me doing one eventually. It just takes a long time to design, then to render, then to print out, and then obviously then to paint. So all these ones I've done for friends and family, uh, people that's wanted commissions over the years. Well, years, I'm saying that year. Uh, but it is just something that's really, really different. And it is like painting a picture, but you've got that three-dimensional world. If you are interested, please pop to my um, to my website. Uh, there is an email there. So now back to the work they were originally uh, doing, which was um, to print out the some of the cups again and the the co uh, not the coasters the the water drink uh, water bottles just to try out my sublimation printer properly. I wanted to see what the results were like and I needed to basically get an idea of how they look, what's good about it, where it's good uh, bad and obviously to put on website to sell to uh, which will I put um, the description on the on the screen now. So these are the final pieces that I managed to do. So this is the water bottle with the penguin design that I have on. I have to admit it, it come out really, really nicely. Um, wasn't expecting it actually to be so nice. When it come to the back, I'd managed to match up the three black lines, but failed to man um, failed to marry up the edges. So I think that's just a, main, uh, a design flaw, uh, just me meaning to, I know it sounds like maybe just put it into the water rather than put the edge of the cliff. So these ones again come out absolutely lovely. It was just a shame that I didn't realise when I was re uh, resizing it that I forgot to put the sun back into the background. I've also got one dolphin from one section and another dolphin from another section which don't look right either. 
did the same design for this. The way that I put uh, Emma down the middle, absolutely loved it, so I might use that in future. But I am going to have to shop around for another type of bottle. Because as you can see on the top, the plastic lid you can take off uh, but there's also a plastic screw part to it which I didn't really think of when I was doing it so I'm gonna have to look around for a different design that hasn't got the screw lid maybe a metal one or you know just a cap so these are all of them all together I do hope you've enjoyed the content for this week I am hoping to bring another one out for next week uh, if I would really appreciate it though if you do like, subscribe, do the, all the lovely YouTube thingies. And hopefully I'll see you soon. Thank you and bye.